a sustainable approach. A sustainable, sustainable approach to promote health for, so it lasts a lifespan. What's happened is when people are 50, they're having disability from neck, back, hip, and knee. Why? Because we've been managing people away from those. We've been treating the symptoms. A few treat societal symptoms as well as lost. What we're here about is, of course, quality assurance. It's, it's not no pain, no gain. So we use the traffic light. That's our first principle. Secondly, of course, we're not going to load dysfunction, so we want to have some competency. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And errors are how we learn. I love how Fred uh, uh, explained that. Um, and then thirdly, uh, we want to find the hardest thing that people do well. We want to get to that third principle. Load is the best corrective at all. And stress is necessary in order to cause adaptation. And, and then finally, we want to have as many options as possible. That's the fourth principle of variability. Think outside the box. Attack their knee for looking at the ankle and the hip. Have a drop down menu for squat of not just five or six, not just a dozen, not just 20. Have, have almost 100 different versions of your squat, your hinge, your lunge, your push, your pull, your carry.